So here I am on my first gravel bar, and here is a piece, I'll see if I can zoom up on it, piece of petrified coral, uh, maybe horn coral, my guess is. It's dirty, but I can recognize it from the shape, and you turn it over, and um, you can see that it's silica has the look of silica or chalcedony so it's um, yeah good start to the day hey everyone so today for the first time in uh, this season I'm scaring up deer I'm back on the river I'm back on the river. I was hoping to see some deer. I didn't see that one. Um, anyway, uh, already made a couple stops before I recorded this intro. And uh, being a little bit more selective this year, but still looking forward to the rest of the journey. I hope you enjoy the day. Thanks for watching. So I just picked up and washed off this piece. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to zoom in on this and have it be focused. But uh, the the band, the clear chalcedony band, caught my attention. If you look real close, and I'll show you a better close-up picture later, but... Um, it has some agate banding in there, some nice banding, very small. Um, so we'll take a closer look at that in a little bit. Here's a little tiny soft cell turtle. It's probably not more than three inches in diameter. Hiding among the moss. Very cool. So here I am at the edge of a, a bank. You can see the condition of the soil here. There's a couple things that kind of intrigue me. Maybe more than a couple things I thought I'd dig out of the bank. This piece here, uh, not very big, and uh, no, not anything of interest, but I see some, looks like chalcedony poking through. If I can get this, Well, hold on, I'll get that in a little bit. There's a similar piece. Here's a similar piece that... It's easier to get out. Got some chalcedony showing here. Let me wash those off for you. This turned out to be a lot bigger than I expected. Big chunk of silica, mostly milky. Got some clear areas up here. Looks like it might have some small crinoid type fossils in it. Not sure whether I'll take that or not. I've got a lot of this material. Uh, I probably will take it, but still have a lot of it. This piece It's got some nice banding in there 
This one interests me more. More going on in there. So I just stopped by this um, this washout here, and um, only picked up a couple pieces, but I'm pleased with them. This one, I'm gonna see if I can focus on them here. But this one here is uh, got some interesting bands in it, as well as some swirls and. Um, pattern it's got a got some crystals going on there maybe so and this one I dug out of the the, the glacial till and it reminds me of the black agate or the black chalcedony that I find from time to time I'm guessing there's some translucency there and uh, That might look good sliced up. So this piece here intrigues me. I picked it up and saw these lines along the side. Kind of wonder whether that is in a piece of um, chain coral. So let's go wash that off. Please see if there's anything to the no. They're not washing off. And that's another there's nothing showing on this side, but Mm, I'm going to take that home and give you a better look at it yeah, once it's cleaned up. So here's another piece of, uh, let's see if I can get it in the right light. It's a... Um, solid chunk of chalcedony with um, with uh, fossils inside so I really don't need any more of this but I'm going to take it anyway just because I I like it So the first half of my trip was actually quite discouraging. It seemed like just about every gravel bar was covered with a very thin layer of mud, making all the rocks very difficult to identify. And when I looked into the water, uh, it seemed like everything in the water was covered with algae. But about halfway through the day, I discovered where I could find the rock that wasn't dirty and it was rock hounding like I remember it from last year. I was gonna float on past this area. There's some rock up there and down here under the tree. But then I saw up here a whole pile of rock 
It was crumbling down from the wall up there. So, I don't know how well you can see that, but we can explore that, see what we can find. It's all fresh material, it hasn't been muddied up by the river. So, we'll see here. There we go. Petrified coral. Now I've told myself I'm not going to pick up as much chert today. I've got to be a little bit more discriminating than I was last year, but. Well, look at that piece. It's a nice fist-sized piece. And uh, looks to have some bands in it. That is, that is an incredible piece. It may just be chert. But look at those bands and swirls in there. That's going to be good. That's going to look good. Cleaned up. It seemed like whenever I stopped by an eroded area, uh, like a cliff of eroded glacial till, underneath I could usually find some clean and fresh material and Every time I stopped, uh, it rewarded me with uh, some good rocks and some, some very good findings. So, I didn't notice these little knobs up here the first time I picked this up. I was looking at the side, at the veins. I don't know how well you can see that pattern there. Then I turned it over. And even muddy, you can see the unmistakable evidence of it being coral. And this is a big, the cells are big. They're as big as my fingernail there. So this is a, this is a big chunk of coral. Um, probably the second biggest piece I've found. The biggest piece was last year. So, nice. Very nice. So I just walked back to put that other piece of coral in my kayak and right here, right next to the kayak, and I missed it the first time, is another piece of coral. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, I recognize it from the underside. The underside looked suspicious. I turn it over and um, you can see the honeycomb pattern there. So that's a nice chunk. That's a really nice chunk. That will likely get into cut up into s nice slabs except for that crystal pocket there. So I found it interesting as I floated down the river and would pass by various places where the, the glacial till was eroded away. Some places were sandy, almost predominantly sand. Some places were hard packed clay with hardly any rock. And then there were other places like you've already seen that were a mix of, of good gravel and rock 
and the hard packed clay. I found this all so very interesting. Well, that's it for this time. Uh, I appreciate you coming along and watching what I've shown so far. Um, as I typically do, I will end this video with a few photographs of some of the rocks that I didn't show uh, earlier on in the video. So thanks for coming along, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you the next time.